question. No, no, let me finish this, huh? This is a charge, this is not a question. Now, there are some activists who are going on publishing this endlessly. You're reading that social media is trash and you're coming to conclusions. Anyway, I want you to know, today if I want, by tomorrow evening, I can file hundred cases against you, all kinds of things. It's for you to come out of it in the next twenty years. This is the country you're looking for. Being in a legal profession you're going to get into, first you must get your facts right, all right? And if… if one inch, not one acre, one inch of forest land is taken, I have said this yesterday also, day before yesterday also because I am surprised the same question is being asked, I will leave the country. You will not see me again. Is this good enough? Oh, that just, I'm so sorry to stop you, sir, in case you're not comfortable answering that. No, no, I'm okay with any question. All right. So, um, so a lot of the infrastructure Let of… Just make the question yeah, yeah. smaller and… Thirty seconds. More. A lot of the infrastructure 30 of… Thirty seconds is a long question, five 20, seconds. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. A lot of the infrastructure of the Isha Foundation has been built on elephant corridors. Really? Something which both the National Green Tribunal as well as the High Courts have admitted to without the requisite permissions. We tell you this goes against the rule of law which you stand for, this goes against living in harmony with species, some, both of which you've spoken right here at Nalsar. So if you could clarify okay. regarding that. Okay. <laughs> there, is a, there is a fan following for that also. So right now, all of you, those of you who are clapping and screaming, listen to me. You also, man. What's your name? Huh? Sanchit. Ankita. Ankita. Okay. Now we'll do one thing. <clears throat> I don't know what authority you have to say it's an elephant corridor. Listen, 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 let me finish. The State Forest Department clearly has submitted to the High Court that this is not an elephant corridor. The Wildlife Trust of India has given a clear directive to the NGT that it's not an elephant corridor. The World Wildlife Fund says it's not an elephant corridor. But you say it's an elephant corridor. I don't know what's your relationship with the elephants, okay? If you do not understand, right now we put up the map published by the Wildlife Trust of India as to which are the elephant corridors and which are not. And the elephant corridor is not anywhere in hundred kilometers of where we… where we are. You can go look up the map today. Now, you can open up your cell phone and look it up now. So, being in a legal profession you're going to get into, first you must get your facts right, all right? And well, I know where this is coming from. There are some activists who are going on publishing this endlessly. You're reading that social media is trash and you're coming to conclusions. Anyway, I want you to know, today if I want, by tomorrow evening, I can file hundred cases against you, all kinds of things. It's for you to come out of it in the next twenty years. This is the country you're living in, I want you to know. So, it doesn't matter, I will tell you further. For continuously, I have been accused of raising a rainforest. Which is that rainforest? Where was it? Please show it to me. There is no such forest, so they've kept quiet now because I asked these questions. Then they said, we have occupied forest lands. Well, forest department has dispo… you know, senior forest uh, officers from not only Tamil Nadu, from the center, came and surveyed the place and said not a little bit of encroachment has happened. But people keep writing the same thing. Now I'm asking you, if you're really interested in justice, you and your friends who are clapping for everything, I will ask you to come. Ten, fifteen of you come with cameras. I will give you all the maps, the survey maps and revenue maps and forest maps. You walk across, we'll give you total freedom to do the survey as you want, all right? If… if one inch not one acre, one inch of forest land is taken. I have said this yesterday also, day before yesterday also because 
I am surprised the same question is being asked, I will leave the country. You will not see me again. Is this good enough? So will we, you do it? So we'll take one <laughs> final question. Sadhguru. No, no, let me finish this, huh? This is a charge, this is not a question. If one little bit is taken, forest land, you will never see me again, you will never hear me again, okay? I'll be gone. Oh. Well, wait, wait. I will tell you the kind of activism that is happening there, why? I'm… I'm sure many of you may be associated with this, I'm saying this on camera, it can be published, I don't care what, because I've reached a point where death… death… Uh, death threats are every day from these kind of people. Why all this is happening is, we are at the tri-junction of the three state borders. There are certain people who want to be active in the forest in that area and we've become a big problem for them. They want us ousted from there, that's not going to happen in their lifetime because it's not just for our interest, I want to make sure such activity doesn't happen in the forest. And we have fought for this, so we're getting all this flack and for every little thing without knowing facts, being future lawyers, you must have little more facts on your hand. This is not the way to go to a court, you know. This is not the way to go to a court, you must go with facts. If you are not looking at being a lawyer as just as a business, but as a way of serving people and bringing justice to people, this is not the way to go. I will tell you further. You have seen the image of Adi Yogi? Yes. A whole campaign has been made. They showed images of some forest and how it was… the entire thing was raised to put up Adi Yogi statue. So we put out the Google Maps. Before we bought the land, how it was, how it is today. Today this technology, you can't go on lying forever. Once we put up the Google Maps, they became quiet. So Google Maps are of 2006. They said before that there was a forest. So I said, <laughs> do one thing, from 1960s, okay, or before I was born, 1940s, you take the revenue map. I will give you all the survey numbers in which we are. See what were the crops which were grown, for what taxes people have paid. Revenue records are there, Google maps are there. You can't be just lying to yourself endlessly. And I will tell you how much prejudice is there. A, a, a certain group of people with government officials and a collector comes to visit the Adiyogi statue. One official, not a low-level official, a mid-level official, says they have built a factory shed without permission. So collector asks, where is the factory shed? He points at Adiyogi and says, this is the factory shed. He's surprised, is this a factory shed you are saying, this is a monument? They've taken permission for a monument. No, no, in my opinion this is a factory shed. Inside there are metal members and outside there is a metal skin, so it is a factory shed. Tell me, who will call the image of… if there is an image of Adiyogi, can you put it up? Who will call this a factory shed? Please look it up. Please look it up on the website. You look at the Adiyogi, it is on the Guinness record for the largest face on the planet. And now somebody describes this as a factory shed and wants to file a case on us. I want you to know who is this person who calls Adiyogi a factory shed and what is the… what is the intention and what is the purpose of such a comment? Who they are? and what they are motiv motivated by, you must look at it. Yes or no? Please look at it. And I'm telling you, the reason all this has started is because of the trijunction. One mistake we have done, if it's a mistake, I don't think it's a mistake personally, but legally it's a mistake is, they did not give us a particular officer who was sitting. It's… it's all become religious in this country. A particular officer who is sitting there, does not give us a no objection certificate even though we fulfill all the legalities for four and a half years. Nothing happening. I said, go ahead and build. We had everything else, only one department we don't have, no objection. First, why the hell do you have, have an objection when I'm investing and building infrastructure for this country and for the people? What's your problem? But they have a problem. No objection certificate takes four and a half years and they don't give an explanation why they have an objection. There is not a single reply. So I said, go ahead and build. So we built two buildings without that one no objection. Using that, they filed multiple cases on us. But now, the government has given us 
permission for that also. It's been regularized, they asked us to pay a penalty, we paid and we regularized all that. There's not one illegal structure there and we are not in the elephant corridor. Please get your facts checked properly. Uh